top 10 best devil fruits will be in this video. So if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to like, subscribe, subscribe to the video guy. By the way, if we hit 275,000 subscribers before the end of this month, I am going to be dying my hair and my beard white for Christmas. I will become Santa J. So if you want to see that, hit that like button, subscribe. Now coming in 10th place is going to be the light fruit. Now this one should be for fairly obvious reasons, guys. Light may not be in the top 10 best for PV or the top 10 best for pvp but light is single-handedly probably the single best fruit for beginners in this game not only do you get basically a free sword that allows you to do more m1 damage based on your devil fruit you know stat but the actual abilities of pico are extremely good for a big beginners as well because you know it's just high damage aoe attacks and a, an insanely good flight ability that is insanely easy to use so i definitely think the light fruit is a very 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 solid fruit for starters in this game and i definitely think that it deserves to be on this top 10 in 10th place just for that alone not only that but it can be useful in different pvp scenarios just because you know it does do a lot of damage when you actually you know hit the t attacks correctly look up in a ninth place is going to be the solid magma fruit now the magma fruit is kind of one of the most you know it's it's borderline you know it's like in the top five most hated fruits and blocks fruit like top five most toxic but you know magma fruit you guys have to respect that it has insanely high dps with the you know the magma rain ability and the magma attack ability where you just constantly punch the ground and stuff like that it's just a really 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 good fruit just for dps so for boss raids and stuff like that as long as you have like a doe fruit person stunning them and you just spam the magma abilities on them you will probably be the highest dps in that raid total so not only is it probably the highest dps fruit in the entire game but if you actually use certain weapons with stuns you will absolutely demolish people in pvp just because like literally all it takes is one stun into the magma raid ability magma dash ability and they will be instantly dead that's just how much damage magma actually does they're coming in eighth place is going to be one of my personal favorite fruits in the game shadow now shadow is mainly a pvp fruit and you know that'll be obvious shadow just you know the, the it has really really good stun attacks it has really really good damage attacks but it does have one good you know it does it do actually has one good pve ability which is actually the ultimate which is a huge aoe just big giant damage ultimate so it's really good for pve content because you know usually in pve you do round up people and you use this ability but that's kind of the only ability for pve but it is just so good for pvp content that i do think it deserves a place on this list it isn't really a contender as you know the best pvp fruit in the game but i do feel like you know the obviously guys the pv side and the pvp side of it combined definitely make this fruit a really really worth using in a lot of different scenarios now coming to seventh place is going to probably be the best utility fruit in the game the door fruit now the door fruit is obviously guys i do a lot of people know this but it's insanely good for pvp due to the combos it actually has but you know the utility of it is the reason why it's actually going to be in the top 10 list it can teleport places and the door fruit is probably one of the number one fruits that you should get the permanent of just because it's very very useful to be able to equip a fruit that could teleport you anywhere on the map whenever you want especially for like devil fruit notifier and stuff like that so you could teleport immediately to the island and get the fruit so i definitely think the door fruit is insanely useful it also is pretty good for pvp like i said before so i definitely think it's a solid seven place on this list the come to six place is probably gonna be the most cheese fruit on this list is going to be the dragon fruit now the dragon fruit is a very cheese fruit it is probably one of the you know it, it, a lot of bounty hunters actually do use the dragon fruit because all you need to do with bounty all you need to do with dragon fruit is transform and fly around constantly shooting fireballs and beams at people pretty much it is probably one of the best open world pvp fruits in the game like for open world just normal art you know you know no, the normal world like in the sea is just flying around shooting beams at people it's just a really easy way to get bounty and stuff like that and there are some pretty solid combos you can actually do with the dragon fruit now like i said it's worth mentioning that this is kind of like an open world fruit for 1v1 scenarios it, i really you know dragon fruit obviously it would be good for 1v1 because you just fly around but i definitely think the strength of dragon is the open world aspect of it and the traveling uh, the traveling capabilities of it is honestly pretty good for you know what the fruit actually is now coming to fifth place is going to be the rumble fruit now the rumble fruit obviously unlocks pull v2 which is one of the better weapons in the game but we're not talking about weapons here so rumble awakened the obviously guys the teleports are insanely good it, it's a very good bounty fruit because of the teleporting features of it and the stun features of it so the teleports obviously extremely good for getting around extremely good for you know catching people or running away in pvp and the stuns on this fruit allow you to do some absolutely fat combos that people generally just don't really get a chance to ever escape from it also has pretty high damage for being a stun fruit so i definitely think rubble is a very very solid entry onto this list now you guys were probably expecting this fruit to be on here as well with probably the other top three fruits but coming in fourth place is going to be the venom fruit now the venom fruit has insanely high dps and a big gigantic aoe abilities obviously i forgot i forgot to say this about dragon but the dragon and venom transformations actually have 
have damage reduction attached to them as well which is obviously an insanely useful feature and the actual venom the venom fruit the lower you get in the venom fruit the faster you go so the basically if you're really low with venom fruit and you manage to escape a combo because you like use observation hockey or something like that you're gone they're not catching you you have potential to be the fastest fruit in the game the lower you are so you just you're gone you're not dying today the cup to third place you guys probably probably knew this was going to be in the top three this is actually a fruit that i extremely underrated before it's going to be the leopard fruit leopard fruit guys i'm you know after experiencing this in pvp a lot more and actually using it myself this fruit is unbelievably good so obviously it's extremely fast it has very low cooldown teleport attacks and so you can just get away if you actually don't want to fight with them and quite frankly leopard fruit all you need to do is land a single finger revolver z hold on somebody and they will pretty much instantly be dead unless they're smart enough to not use their observation hockey as this ability is going on they're pretty much immediately at one shot finger revolver z hold into the c move into x into the final move and they're instantly dead there's nothing they could do about it so unless they have damage reduction leopard it has very very simple very easy one shots in the speed of this fruit make it near uncatchable in the actual open world pvp so pretty much leopard escapes your combo once they're gone so <laughs> leopard is just an insanely annoying fruit to fight it's probably the most annoying fruit in the game to actually fight and it is very very cheese and very good in pvp now coming to second place as you guys probably would imagine is going to be the doe fruit now doe fruit would would be first place guys doe fruit would be the first place fruit in the game and i definitely think that the first and second place fruit in this game is very very borderline close i do think that they they honestly could have been in the same tier but I, i'm going to be raking doe a little bit lower just because it's just honestly a lot harder to get than the number one fruit but number two obviously doe here insanely easy to hit combos probably one of the single best pvp fruits for combos because pretty much all you need to do is land that aoe stun move and then they're actually dead afterwards so it's an insanely easy to hit combo fruit really really good for pvp due to that and they actually you know it still does a lot of damage even though it actually was nerfed and it actually is insanely good for boss raiding in you know in blocks fruit so it's insanely good for pve boss raids and insanely good for pvp very 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 solid fruit and very very amazing now i'm actually one is going to be the quake fruit i'm not going to be talking about this that much but the quake fruit the awakened version of this fruit is probably one of the single best you know combo fruits in the game besides obviously dough because the double the, the, the combos for it, if you can actually land it will make you borderline unbeatable in pvp not a bunch of two rubber guys you guys probably know why this is here this has insanely good combos for pvp and it actually has really really useful yeah, really really useful travel capabilities as well it also makes you immune to gun and rumble damage which i definitely think deserves an honorable mention on this tier list now if you guys are wondering quake and rubber are not first and second on this tier list honorable mention means that it is ranked below 10th place so pretty much the tier list goes 8 9 10 honorable mention 1 honorable mention 2 it is not underneath first place honorable mention means that it's worth mentioning but it didn't quite make it onto the actual tier list but Hello guys what is your favorite devil fruit in blocks fruits in the comments below we'll be checking them out the company first place as you guys might imagine is going to be the buddha fruit now the buddha fruit itself i do think that if you're actually a lot more skilled at this game dough can be first place so i'm just going to get that out of the way before you know i start the tier list because i know there's probably gonna be comments going dough is the best fruit and potentially you are correct dough is the best fruit but i definitely think buddha you know it's very very easy to get fruit which i definitely think scores at some points on this tier list and you know, by easy to get i mean like it's not near nearly as rare as some of the other fruits it's still pretty hard to get sorry if that you know came off as a little bit weird but it's really it's it's the best fruit for he for, for pv content i mean let's be real here the actual awakening transformation makes pv content pretty much easy as heck makes it, it, it makes it so easy to the point where it's kind of boring to use in pve because it's just so easy you use buddha put all your points in the sword and defense and just m1 people to death now for actual pvp it's actually kind of it's kind of cringe i definitely think bu using buddha for pvp is kind of cringe but i I have to respect that it, it is good as much as it is cheese pretty much you just get something like ghoul and then you teleport to someone with the r r ability and you just m1 them to death that's that's literally buddha and the crazy thing is that it actually works because the m1 rage of this fruit is so large that you will hit someone without them even realizing it and then boom like eight thousand of their hp is instantly gone and then you can just keep teleporting onto them with the r ability so obviously guys buddha is a very 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 good fruit in this game that comes as a surprise to nobody i think the buddha is probably one of the highest value you know not that rare fruits of the game it still is pretty rare but it's kind of one of the you know lower rarities for legendaries i think that buddha is definitely deserves first place on this list i do think doe and leopard are contenders hence why they're all in the top three but what do you guys think let me know in the comments below anyways guys that's for this video if you enjoyed this video hit like subscribe guys bye bye